Pisces, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday 7th of December 2020. So I do the Spirit Animal Oracle, the Moontology Oracle, Past, Present, Future, Energies All Clarified and finish with the Star Temple Oracle. Do check out the video I posted in the weekend, um, all the yearly readings are done for each star sign so um, go and check that out as well it's been a hectic few weeks getting them all done and um, back to work on my seven days on and so it's like now I'm on my day one of seven days off so um, unless I get called in but yeah thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed do click that um, click that button if you're new <laughs> but um also the notification bell so you know when all my readings come out so I do weekly readings monthly readings and a quick fire reading in the weekend bearing in mind i'm in queensland australia and we just had this car skidding outside because i live on an intersection with traffic lights but didn't hear any connection so that's a good sign uh what else so general reading only um, take with you what resonates check your sun moon rising venus signs and any number synchronicities that may come out and also cross watches are welcome too okay well that flipped around so we're going to take that for you pisces love it you get number nine brown bear spirit take time out beautiful it's like everybody needs to do it everybody does it um, or should do it and take time out it's like you may have been pretty full-on with everything that's been going on in your life somehow and it's telling you to take time for yourself um, you know if you're giving all your energy to somebody else or helping somebody you can't help somebody if you can't help yourself first so definitely take time out that's very much the hibernation bear um, energy how they hibernate for the winter. It's one card, so you picked yours too, Pisces. Um, yes, how they hibernate for the winter, so it's like, yes, that's their, their time out. Okay, Moontology, you get full moon and Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so very much. Okay, take time out. Now that that's approaching, this tough cycle, the end of the tough cycle, is approaching so it is saying well now perhaps is a good time to take time to yourself love it all right pisces for the week of monday the 7th of december 2020 do we have for you Middayish now, and um, and well, one o'clock, and it's really hot, and I'm wondering whether to go back in the pool again. Right, Pisces. Okay, so overall, Pisces, for the week, you have got the Five of Pentacles, which is a feeling of being isolated, left out in the cold. Somebody may have blocked you. It's also a feeling of not being able to reach something, reach a goal of some sort, maybe. But there's something that is unobtainable. Uh, I'll say that again, unobtainable. <laughs> it's a long word. Um, that's out of your reach there so we'll clarify all that shortly and see what's going on there your past energies you do get the three of cups the five of swords and the deceiver which is the devil card so i think you were actually i thought you had something to celebrate here and it actually turned out to be quite a battle and now it feels like you're actually chained to something that's not serving you Either way, this is a victory card, whether you realize it's time to walk away, it's not worth fighting for, that in itself is a victory. Um, but also fighting for what you believe in is a victory, but whatever it was that you were celebrating may not have panned out to how you thought it was going to, and that can come back to this: the end of this tough cycle approaches. Okay, the end of that approaches, and the end of that approaches. Because in your present energy, 
that's gone. It's got you up temperance, strength, and victory. Okay, so as I said, this is actually a victory either way. You have got that with the Six of Wands and your present energy. And it's core of your reading, strength. Everything takes strength and walking away from something takes strength. And also um, anything new that you're undertaking, that takes strength as well. But do maintain that balance with temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius or Leo here. And... Um, but definitely maintaining that even flow don't be running hot and cold and in and out and on and off etc and um, maintain that balance there don't overindulge in things and as I went out before and bought my bottle of wine <laughs> um, but yeah and on the places so <laughs> it's like fine but um, yeah but everything takes strength okay and that is in the core of your reading there and your future energy you've got the princess of cups the eight of wands and the transition card so there is love coming in towards you here somebody's coming in wanting to offer you this cup of love it might come via some sort of communication may not be in person just yet and maybe um, quick communication but you need to make sure that everything is clear and upfront and honest about what is going on there and I love it you finish with the transition card which is releasing the old hopefully releasing this energy here and definitely this energy here and it's moving forward into a new chapter and even releasing overall for the week okay but definitely moving forward into a new chapter so next week will be a new chapter maybe <laughs> so we'll have to see what goes on then for some of you but um Readings aren't stuck on time, so when you actually watch this is when you're meant to meant to be. It's meant to be you're meant to watch it at a certain time. If it's later on, so be it. But um, you are definitely moving moving on from something in the past and creating something new and fresh. And again, the end of that tough cycle approaches. Okay, beautiful, love it. Okay, so Pisces. Nearly dropped them. <laughs> so five of pentacles overall, clarified with the page of cups, the empress and the six of wands again, victory. So whatever you felt was out of reach may pertain to love. Okay, and you may think that's there's that love's not there for you it is it's like somebody's there coming in with that for you you're very intuitive you're very aware of what's going on in the world and with others around you and you may be very aware that this love is coming in towards you where you felt it was out of reach it's not because you come out with this victory overall for the week love it beautiful Right, so we're going to clarify your past energy. So we've got the Three of Cups, Lovers, Two of Swords, Knight of Cups. So I think you are celebrating maybe something with somebody significant. For some of you, it may have been pre... Um, I'm wondering what that noise was. I think it's a car going past. Um, maybe pre... What do they say when it's too early, when you're celebrating too early? A bit noisy, sorry. Um, with somebody significant like you may have thought that there was something there to celebrate but with these other cards in your pres um, in your past energy may not have been okay you were blindfolded you weren't really seeing things clearly there and um, this love that is coming in towards you at that stage in your past energy with, with this love is here okay while you were celebrating there really may not have panned out because this is actually riding away from that energy um, that's there and it's riding into the five of swords which is that battle card so that love might not have panned out for some of you it doesn't have to be somebody significant it can be a job it could have been trying to buy a house and might have been bought from under you anything like that but um, whatever it was with that love is didn't pan out in that past energy there so five of swords is clarified temperance judgment and the six of swords okay so keeping an open mind um, no that's that one keeping an open mind but here maintaining that flow again you've got temperance down in your present energy so it could be dealing with Sagittarius 
but definitely like ma maintaining that even flow again and not letting things overtake okay keeping an open mind um, don't judge others don't let others judge you but um, listen to their side of the story as well there is movement here so this battle as I said either way is a victory there is movement forward for some of you it may be being done in secrecy and um, undercover she's hidden under here moving away quietly and um, but but others doesn't have to be undercover but there is definitely movement there to um, finish that battle up <laughs> so we're going to go into the deceiver and this past energy eight of pentacles eight of swords and the tower so there's your number synchronicity with 88 they've got the two eights here okay but the first day eight of pentacles like working super duper hard really focused paying attention to detail but don't turn your back on everything else okay but still be aware of what's going on around you but you're working to break these chains okay and you're feeling like you're actually stuck you are bound to these swords but if you take off that blindfold there's nothing standing in your way things are on the clear to move forward freely you got the tower so that tower is going to explode and boom out with the old and in with the new start a new beginning and make that solid new foundation there and that ends that tough cycle that the moontology is talking about there beautiful love it pisces right we're going into your present energy which will start with temperance so as I said, um, maintaining even flow. Do things in moderation. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, and Knight of Swords. So whatever it was, it really broke your heart. Something really, or someone for some of you, really broke your heart. Could be a third party involved here. Okay, things weren't maintained. That, that balance was not maintained. And it, somebody was doing all the giving and no taking. Um, you've overcome all these hurdles and obstacles it's been a shit of a ride but you are on solid ground now and you are actually wondering what do I do now because that's that's finishing that may be what you're moving away from here whatever it is you've been battling back there okay you're wanting action now everybody wants action now don't rush in too too much be too hasty okay but um, whatever it is that you're looking towards now you're wanting this take action now you're on that movement forward and you want to keep that momentum going okay so we're going to clarify strength page of swords six of cups strength again so super strength may be required for the week okay you're trying to clear the air about something and you're up for the challenge trying to clear that air could be around this reconciliation this could be somebody coming back from the past for some of you um, and you're trying to work together and get that air cleared up and sorted out and it is taking strength whatever it is if it's somebody back here that broke your heart um, it will take super strength to to move forward past that others of you it can be a new beginning that you're ready for this challenge here and you're wanting that excitement and that playful energy and the and that young at heart feeling again and again it still takes strength to start something new there but I'd say go for it because we now have the six of wands which is victory that will clarify page of pentacles queen of swords seven of cups so again a younger energy coming in to offer you something here there is this offer coming towards you love it okay make sure that you're very clear and upfront and honest but make sure that whatever this offer is that you're very aware of any little minor details what do they say read the small print um, that's involved here there's a lot of choices and options choose what's right for you don't be overwhelmed by them but there is victory whichever way you go if it doesn't pan out that's a lesson learned and hopefully not a pattern to repeat but either way there's victory with whatever option you're, you're choosing because you're going to choose right for you aren't you <laughs> yeah you are <laughs> Right, we're going to your future energies, which is starting Princess of Cups. There's love coming in for some of you. Queen of Cups. 
king of swords and the magician so you're manifesting this love to come towards you for some of you okay love it okay so make sure that if there's that loving nurturing energy make sure that that you've got that stability there but make sure that you've got you're thinking with your head over your heart think things through logically clearly make sure that everything's out on the table but you are manifesting this you're manifesting this love to come towards you and manifest correctly and it could happen it really could okay so we're on to the eight of wands four of swords six of pentacles and the emperor brown bear spirit take time out four of swords very much take time out self-healing working on yourself just just rest and relaxation what do they call it r and r rest and relaxation time out for yourself things got out of hand um you know people may have been trying to get you to do this and that and everything else and it ended up very one-sided so make sure that you get that balance back with this relaxation that you're doing and you're going to get the stability back and the strength and the determination and courage definitely strong masculine energy there very much in control of a situation of some sort make making sure that that communication is kept open and clear um, and getting things back into alignment love it okay so we finish with the transition card seven of pentacles two of wands and the queen of pentacles love it because you're working really hard as we already know and getting everything everything's falling back into place there is some loose ends to tie up just down here okay don't worry about that too much because you've got your vision and goal you've got your vision of what's coming towards you but you need to meet it halfway you can't just wait for it to come and land in front of you because it won't do that okay and you're proud of how far you've come your achievements you've you've gone through some shitty battles back up in your past energy there Pisces and um, you're coming out with the success and achievements there beautiful love it okay so we're going to see what the universe has to say for you king of wands ace of swords and the ace of pentacles so definitely a brand new beginning for some of you and look at it okay cut all this crap out of this one <laughs> cut all the crap out from the past and reach for that brand new beginning there because it's got all the success and good luck and fortune written all over that love it and you've got that strength and courage and determination to go after after this new beginning beautiful love it okay so pisces we're gonna see what um star temple has to say So you got number 30, the mystic, magic. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. Very much the manifestation card of the Star Temple pack. Beautiful, love the artwork on this card, these cards. Okay, so Star Words, a quest, craft, focus. You are entering a powerful cycle of cosmic manifestation and abundance. Get ready for blissfully co-creating with the universe and opening to receive a steady flow of magical blessings. You are in your creative flow, crafting your magic with joy. In the space of creative bliss, success is simply a side effect. Taygeta supports your surrender to the universal mysticism of the creatrix. Embrace all the lushness and love you are truly worthy of. You are the mystical magic weaver, integrating all the elements with intention and focus. This is a time of completion and celebration. Okay, so completion, the end of that tough cycle there. There is celebration back up here somewhere we had like the very first card. Okay, so there is celebration as well somewhere on the mix. So Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope it helped. Click the like and subscribe button. And as I said, the notification bell down below there. And um, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.